Here's how we make ultra tender chicken thighs in the slow cooker with a lemony chicken gravy. Let's make our spice rub first. We need lemon zest. I'm zesting enough to make one tablespoon and we'll use about half of it for the rub. Add the zest to one tablespoon of Dijon or grainy mustard, then add one and a half teaspoons of oregano, half teaspoon of thyme, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of olive oil. Now measure out one and a quarter cups of chicken broth and add the remaining lemon zest to it. Then squeeze in a quarter cup of lemon juice. We will need this a little later. Rub the chicken with the lemony mustard. I'm using skin on bone in chicken thighs, but boneless works too. Now the chicken can go straight to the slow cooker at this point, but I'd like to add a little color to the skin and sear them in an oiled skillet for two to three minutes first. When the skin is browned, move the chicken thighs to your slow cooker. Cover with a lid and then cook on low for five to six hours or until the chicken is tender. We make a lemon gravy to serve with the chicken and we do it in the same skillet used to sear the chicken. You need two tablespoons of fat, so add a little butter if you need to. Then stir in two tablespoons of flour and cook for about a minute. Pour in the lemon and chicken stock mixture from earlier and stir until smooth. Bring the sauce to a low simmer. As it simmers, it thickens and becomes glossy. Then transfer to a jar or measuring jug and refrigerate until the chicken is done. When the chicken is done, it will be sitting in an inch or so of cooking liquid and rendered fat. Transfer the chicken to a plate, then skim as much fat from the liquid as possible. Warm the lemon gravy you made earlier, then whisk it into the slow cooker and season with salt as needed. Place the chicken back into the slow cooker and that's it. Our tender lemony chicken thighs made in a slow cooker. The chicken is so soft and tender, we love it. Enjoy and see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you love this video, we have lots more. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We're at Inspired Taste.